Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another day on the farm. But you may see the weather has taken a turn for the worse. No, we're not back in March. We are definitely the last day of May. But unfortunately, we've got a nice wet day. So the plan for today, as you can see, I've got some feed for the show sheep and it is the day before staff show. So what I thought is I'd bring you all with me to show you exactly what I get up to the day before a show. I always show you guys exactly what happens at the show, but I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you all behind the scenes, all the stuff I have to do before the show actually happens. So I hope you enjoyed today, guys. I'll get these all fed. And if you would, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy. Right, so that is the tops all fed. So we got the tops in this field and the ewes in that field. We can't mix them for obvious reasons, but we're taking three of these to the show and we're also taking three from across the road. We'll explain a bit more of that later on, but we're gonna leave them because that's our breakfast sorted. What we've got to do now, guys, is basically get everything packed up and ready to go, which sounds fairly simple, but I always forget something. So let's see what I'm gonna to forget today. First of all though, Looking at the fuel gauge, I need some fuel. Well, that is the car all filled up. Now all we've got to do is get it all clean. So as you can see, the back is a tip, so we need to get that emptied. We're going to do this back fairly quickly. So one, two, three. And that is it all clean. So it's not perfect, but it'll do the job. What we've got to do now is get the rest of it washed off, and then we'll start filling it with all the show kit. Well, that is the truck all washed off and ready to go. The first thing that goes into the truck, guys, is my show box. So the show box, I've actually had it for four years. Really handy and one of the most important things to go to the show. So basically just use this for storage. I even got a little lock on it so no one can steal our stuff. But in here at the moment, we've got a bucket with sponge and brush. So that's to wash the sheet with. With the clean breed, we can't actually doll them up. If you see like Texels and Suffolk, they'll be yellow. You can't do that with cleans. All you can do is wash the heads and legs. We've got that. We've got some cable ties for the banners. We've got to fill that up a bit more, but the likes of the jackets and the halters are in the wash, so we'll finish that off in a little bit. So for now, that can go in the truck as it is, and we'll finish filling that up later. Next, we have the banner. So this is what we put behind the pen. So it's a bit of advertisement show off the flock and all the social media. So if you come by and see the Cowell Hill banner, that is where we are. Now we just need some straw and hay slash haylage to take with us for bedding up, etc. Hello? Hey. I'm after some hay and straw or haylage and straw. Uh, you, you want a little bit of the haylage? Yes, please. They're in the shed where you had your mothering up pens. Yep, yep. Straw bales and there's some barley straw yep. in the food by the barn, little bales. Well, that would have been a disaster. I almost forgot the hay nets and the buckets. They're not even in the shed. Man, I don't know what's up with the weather today. One minute it's tipping it down. Next minute it's sunny, then it's tipping it down. But yeah, got the most important things. This is the shampoo to clean the sheet. Without this, they are not getting sparkling white. Usually I have purple shampoo. But I've stolen this from mum because I can't find the purple shampoo, so I won't tell her quite yet, but this is for the horses, but head and shoulders should do the trick of the foot. That's the trailer on. We must be getting somewhere when the trailer's on, but I feel ever so, ever so organised, which just isn't me. Like, it's half 11 in the morning. And we're almost ready to get to the show. But what we do with this, we've obviously the decks aren't in because you remember a few videos ago I actually washed this out. 
because we don't want to get lines on the sheet's back, if you leave the decks in like they rub across the deck and all that, we want to keep nice and clean. But for now, we're just going to put some fresh bedding in. So we've got some shavings. Thankfully, I'm quite lucky because on the farm, we sell to equine people and we also sell shavings, which I've never actually said before, but yeah, we sell shavings. So we've got a bell handy, which I can get this all bedded up with, nice and clean, ready for the sheep. Right guys, so the one final job now before we go is we have to sort the paperwork. So here we have an MV accredited form and in this little pack we have a movement form. So whenever you move any sheep guys, you have to fill out a movement form which looks like this, which basically says where the sheep are going from, where they're going to, all the details of the sheep. All the details of the sheep also go on to the MV accredited form. For those of you who are wondering what MV is, it's basically a disease called Medivisna, which we blood test for on the farm to make sure we don't have it. And this is just an accreditation scheme which says to anyone that buys our sheep that our flock is MV free. So basically it has the expiry date, when we last tested and all that. So we've just got to fill that up. Let's get this all sorted and we can finally go and get the sheep and get to the showground. Well, that's the paper all sorted and ready to go. We'll make sure I need to leave that in the car and not forget it. We'll go get the sheep loaded and then we'll head to the showground. Chino, come on. You know the score. Good girls, good girls, good girls. Right, that's all the ewes picked out. So all we have to do now is pull the ewe lamb out and the two ewes that were taken. Obviously there's six ewes in here, but we just pulled them out for shearing and then once they were shorn, we picked the best two out for showing. So that's why there's six in here. <laughs> You're gonna work with me, girls? Mate, hey, you're first. Good girl. Girl even. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Down you go. Good girl. Here's six, four, eleven. Six, four, eleven. Sorry, six, four, four. Come on, boy. Good one with them. Good lads, good lads. No, no boy. Up here. Good lads. Oh, that is good timing. It has just started to rain again. And thankfully, I've got all the sheep in and they're all dry. So, engine on. Let's head for Stafford's show. Right, so we are here. Sheep, mate. Sheep, yeah, Karen, going all the way down to the bottom now, something like that. Brill. Man. Cheers, mate, thank you. We're in, we're in. Now we just got to unload. Well, I thought we'd actually beat the rush coming this time, but still, we have to queue. Literally, whatever time, usually, I come like seven, eight o'clock at night to try and avoid people. There's still people, though. Still a queue, so we'll wait. Hopefully not too long. Let's get these sheep dropped off. Right, got to go up there and swing back. Probably not meant to drop off here, but we're doing it. Go on, lads. Go on. There you go. Go on, lads. Go on, boys. Go on, lads. Right, that's sheep unloaded, ewes, tops. Now let's get all the stuff. Uh. 
Right, so that is all the sheep dropped off. I just need to see the water, some food, but I just need to hand the paperwork in. And if you realise earlier, I was scanning the sheep because I need the numbers, so not going to say about that, but I just need to write these numbers in. All done, just need to hand these over. <sighs> That's them all sorted. Right, pop them there, and then we'll just go move out the way for everyone else. Right, all fed and watered. Now to put the banners up. Right, so we are back at the showground and look who's made the appearance, the chief washer. See, Soph has to wash a sheet, don't you, Soph? Yeah. Because you do a million times better job. Needs a woman's touch. So basically what we're doing now, we're washing the heads for tomorrow, just to make sure they're nice and white, and then we wash them properly in the morning. But yeah, we're using the trusty head and shoulders. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, when I was saying earlier about the colours on the fleece, look at those Suffolks. Then literally these, you have to leave like they are. Just used to it. She looks a million times better already. Right, we're on to the ewe lamb soap. She's got a nice head. Here we are. Are you ready for the big ones? We're going to start big and go down. Go well. Bloody hell, he's too big for me. We'll just do him here. We won't go anywhere near him. Can... <laughs> well, I won't be surprised. He's like twice the weight. Go on, boy. It looks white, white now. It, looks, it makes a huge difference. You can't believe it. Yeah. Right, oh, so that is us all done, is it, so? Show tomorrow. We're going to leave these now. Head home. Right, so why did we have to go this way? So you want some of these? these you, want, okay, you know, you just said to me that ours are boring white sheep. Yeah, but these have cool ears. <laughs> great, great. Right then, so if you're looking forward to tomorrow, no. why not? Because I don't want everyone to laugh at me again when your sheep starts jumping all over me. Right, well, just make sure you get the tame <laughs> ones. But overall, right, we'll get in the car. So where were we, so? What are you looking forward to tomorrow? You're looking forward to the alcohol and the food. Not the sheep, though. No. You need to be like me. I'm just relaxed. But um, what do you think will do best out of all the sheep, then? What do you reckon? The ewe lamb. The ewe lamb. That is a nice ewe yeah. lamb. Or that big top, just yeah. because it's big. Yeah. I think that... Someone's already come and spotted in that. Yeah, we've actually had someone that was looking around the sheep earlier. We might have already sold the top at the show, so that's mad. But, yeah, can't wait. So, we are vlogging tomorrow too, guys, but you'll have to wait for that video because this one was especially getting ready for the show. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, what did you do, so? Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Yes, you do. So, I'll see you later, guys, and I hope you enjoy as well as the next video too. Enjoy that too. Bye. <laughs>